Hello everyone, Mandy here again, signing for Hollow Tree Hobbies Papercraft Store. And I'm using the uh, fabulous Echo Park Winnie the Pooh collection again. This is the second page for this Winnie the Pooh collection. So if you haven't uh, checked out the first page, uh, go do that. The first thing you'll see me doing is trying to write the word hike. I've got watercolor paper by Prism Studio, which is fabulous, but... And I'm just using distress oxide to write out the words. So what I do is just write out the word multiple times until I get one that I like. So that I can cut that out and use it for a title. I didn't really have the specific green color that I wanted for the title. And the letters that I wanted. So that's fine. I'll just make my own. So that's what you see me doing here. So I try, try a different, a couple different types of fonts, kind of like one like a more of a writing font and then one more of a printing font. Um, just see what, what I like. And then I kept going until I had a couple of good options and figured it was good enough. So here you see the photo that I'm actually going to be scrapbooking with. And it's on the same day that I used for the last photos, but the difference is that it was a different story. I wanted to tell a different story for the day. This is the story of my youngest son's birthday, who really loved to go through hikes through our woods on his birthday when he was little. So this is the story of that. So it, I wanted it to be more of a birthday theme, a little bit more childish than the last one was more woodsy and adventure. This one's still adventure, but I wanted it to also represent that it was a birthday. I'm just trying to get familiar with what pieces I want to use for sure. I know I want the background to be blue because I want it to match the other page in the because they'll be side by side in the scrapbook so I, I knew I wanted the background to be blue and I kind of wanted it to be framed similar to the last page. I also wanted machine, machine stitching because I machine stitched in the last page so I want to keep some things the same and just change it up a little. So I really love this wood grain, and I knew that would be working perfect for um, for the page, and it would let the other colors pop off of that wood grain. So I knew I wanted to use that as the background. And then, of course, I wanted this plaid to print because that is my favorite page in the whole collection. So I really wanted to use it. This strip of paper is the same pattern as the other page on the other side. So I knew I wanted to incorporate that pattern in there somewhere to to help incorporate the two pages side by side so that they would blend together a little bit better. I'm just looking at the sticker sheet, wondering what I'm gonna do. I really love the one with Winnie Pooh and the balloon since this is a birthday page. That seems like a pretty fitting option. So I've taken the page out. I've, I've uh, cut the wood grain down. I gutted the blue paper so that I could keep some of that paper. Cut the wood grain down and machine, machine stitched around. So now I'm back. And I really liked all the banners that are in the on the sticker sheets and in the sticker book. So I decided that, and this is a birthday, so the banners work perfect. So I just took a pencil and traced kind of where I wanted that banner shape to be. I knew I plan on machine stitching through these banners so that they would stick on really well and give a really nice look with this machine stitching. So I'm, I'm going to fiddle around with these and place them around a million times. And what I'm going for is I don't really want colors the same beside each other. So I'm trying to be mindful of that. And then I'm also trying to um, be mindful of keeping like, if I'm doing a blue on one side, I want it on the other side and kind of keeping the colors balanced. So I've went ahead and I found this card, which I really, really like. That'll be my journaling spot. I liked that it was uh, talking to all the little friends in the woods, a little girl or a little boy talking to all the friends in the wood. I really like that. Now the page is starting to take shape. I've uh, went ahead and used the plaid that I really wanted to use. And I've got the pattern of the 
woods from the other page that I've got behind the journaling, the journaling spot, which will work really well. I decided to ground this whole photo piece on that orange. And I tore the, the uh, tore the bottom of the paper so that it would um, mesh well with the other page as well, because I knew that there was torn pages on that side. Here I'm just cutting out my word hike that I had uh, painted earlier on to put at the top. I think I want to nestle it just above the photo. And I want the whole title to be birthday hike. But I want to use the same stickers or similar stickers to for the word birthday that I used in the previous page. I really like that. I love that little tag, especially because it matches the photo, but it just seemed too big and it didn't really work there. So I couldn't really get it to fit, and I tried to put it everywhere because I loved it so much. <laughs> I really tried to get it on there. Here I've added the birthday words, and I just used the blue stickers this time instead of the yellow. And I really wanted to incorporate that little Pooh Bear with the balloon. So I wasn't really sure where I was going to put that either, but I knew I wanted to add that in there. I think it stays up at the top for a bit, but I do end up moving in. So now I've got the enamel dots which are really beautiful. I was trying to figure out where I was going to put these. And uh, there's one enamel dot that has, uh, you probably won't be able to see in the photo, but you'll be able to see in the pictures afterward. It has Pooh walking piglet, kind of the same as that tag that I really wanted to use, that I couldn't find a spot. So there is a little enamel dot that has that picture. So I was able to fit that on there. I'm liking how this is looking. And here's the two pages side by side. Just trying to get a look to see if I like how they work together. If I need to add anything to either of them. And I really like how it's working, how, how they're looking. You'll see the steel shots are coming up and I think the only thing I added was my journaling and a couple enamel dots here and there. And a couple words in the journaling box that I didn't have before. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the pages. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.